Hey there and welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am going to review for you a couple of the new MAC lip glosses by um, The Simpsons. So, yes, lip gloss. Um, the Simpsons paired up with MAC to create a line of eyeshadow and lip glosses and there's a blush in there too and these just looked so interesting and different to me so I decided to pick a couple up and see how they were. Before I jump into that I apologize about my lack of makeup right now and the fact that I look extremely tired. It's Saturday morning, had one too many glasses of red wine last night, I'm just really tired and too lazy to put makeup on frankly. Um, so we get a bare face today, but we get the lip glasses, so that's good. Um, so basically the lip glasses come in this yellow cardboard container with pictures of the Simpsons on there, especially Marge's blue hair is highlighted. And I got three colors. I got itchy and scratchy and sexy, grand pumpkin, and nacho cheese explosion. Now, Nacho Cheese Explosion is a, is a yellow lip gloss. Yellow. So that's a little bit weird and a little bit funky to put a yellow lip gloss on your lips, and I'm definitely skeptical, but shit, I'm a little bit weird and a little bit funky, so we'll see how it goes. I'm up to try anything. All right, so let's jump in. The first one, actually, I'm gonna start with the lightest one first. The Nacho, oh no, that's Grand Pumpkin. Let's start with the Nacho, ah, where is it? Aha, Nacho Cheese Explosion. Oh my god, my hair. Ugh. Okie dokie, so this is what it looks like. And let's go ahead and apply it. Ready? Okay. It is literally a bright yellow lip gloss. I don't think I've ever seen a bright yellow lip gloss before. But that's why I bought it, because it's so intriguing. Okay. Woo! There it is. Dang, for a yellow lip gloss, this stuff is really pigmented. Okay, so that is about one layer of the Nacho Cheese Explosion Lip Gloss, and it has um, kind of like a tacky consistency, which I'm not super familiar with the MAC Lip Glosses. I haven't bought any of them, actually, so this is probably a typical formula for these, but it's definitely tacky. It's very thick on the lips. It feels like it would probably last a while, but it's not super sticky. So it's it's tacky, but it's not sticky, which is nice. It's actually very comfortable on the lips. Um, in terms of the color, this is a color that I would probably wear over another color. So maybe a nude or a light pink. I don't know how this would match with different color lipsticks, but it would be kind of fun to experiment because the color payoff is actually pretty nice. Um, it makes my lips look kind of like an orange color, as you can see. Um, however, when you get close and you see the yellow kind of patches, it's a little it's a little weird just to see yellow patches on your lips. It kind of evokes a feeling of like that you're sick with some mouth disease that causes you to have yellow substances. I don't know. Um, so aside from the fact that I look like I might be on my deathbed, I'm pretty impressed with the general formula and color payoff. So if you're into bright yellow lipsticks, 
then I would say go ahead and give this a try and see what you think. Plus, I mean, who doesn't want a bright yellow lipstick in their, or lip gloss in their lip stick product collection? I mean, I certainly do. All right, so that is Nacho Cheese Explosion. Now I'm going to wipe this off. You can see on the, that's straight up yellow. All right, I still have a sticky consistency on my lips, but that's okay. I think most of the color is gone. All right, so let's try the next darkest color, which is Grand Pumpkin. It is an orange lip gloss. Right? And this is actually a pretty color. It's not so garish as the other one. It's not so, like, in your face I'm yellow. It's more of a soft, almost like corally orange. So let's see what this one looks like. Again, really good color payoff right off the bat. Okay. Ooh, this is nice. I like this color. This is much more wearable than the yellow lip gloss. I actually, although it's orange, I would actually wear this out, like on a regular basis. It's a very, very wearable color. Um, so I, I am liking this. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but same exact consistency as the other one, tacky, thick. You know, you can feel it on there, but it's hydrating and it's doesn't feel like you have this massive layer of stuff on your lips. It's just, it's very comfortable to wear, but it um, definitely feels like it'll last a while. Um, now let's take this one off. Orange. Last but not least, we have Itchy and Scratchy and Sexy. And this is a fuchsia color. And it looks like it has some really fine sparkle in there. So let's try this one. Oh, where's my mirror? All right. Okay, so this is the itchy, scratchy, sexy color, and a, like Grand Pumpkin, this one is pretty wearable, I would say. It's, it's kind of like a nice fuchsia purple that you could totally wear out, so I'm liking this color a lot too. It feels the same as the other ones. It's very pigmented. You could wear it on its own. You don't need, you definitely don't need a lip stick underneath. You could totally wear this on your on its own and it would give you enough color payoff. So it's quite pretty. I like it. What do you guys think? I don't know. Um, so that concludes the MAC and the Simpsons lip glass collection. I think there is one more color in the collection. I got three of them. Nacho Cheese Explosion, Grand Pumpkin, and Itchy and Scratchy and Sexy. So I hope this review slash swatch 
thingamajigger was helpful for you guys. And let me know if you are going to buy any of these in the comments section below. And if you liked this video, if you found it helpful, if you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. And thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys soon.